Hiya! It's a cooking knife. <laughs> I don't have a katana, so... What the heck? In case you're wondering, I was watching House of Ninjas, that's why. I'm sorry about that. That's why I got a knife. I couldn't get a bloody katana. So I was like... Yeah, that was embarrassing. It was really embarrassing. Oh god, that was embarrassing. But imagine it all. And then move my camera. Like a dumbass. I'm not a dumbass. I'm not. Okay, let's talk House of Ninjas. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Can't believe I did that. That's very embarrassing. Poof. I'm sweating and I didn't do a damn thing. How, how are these people doing this? It's beyond me. Tales of ninjas and they are daunting uh, fighting skills, the mystery of the nature, fighting in the dark, wearing black, looking cool and mysterious, be being present but not there, and, you know, in and out. It's the beauty and the marvel uh, of ninjas and have been portrayed in so many brilliant movies and shows across the world. Uh, uh, the Japanese or the ideology of a shinobi, uh, a ninja, has always captivated my imagination, the brilliance of it. And when you look at Netflix House of Ninjas or Shinobi no Li in Japanese, if I'm saying that right, it, it, it aims to bring a, a formidable age of fighters uh, out of the myth uh, mythology of ninjas and being it's in comic book strip, it's, it's not real, it's historic, it, it doesn't exist anymore. It brings it into a modern world, which obviously poses the question, are ninjas among us? Like, do they really exist among us? Well, it's just the facade and we're delusion. Now, when you watch this series, it, it, it's a drama thriller that, 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 that brings an unseen hero and an unseen villain into a modern day life. And it follows this uh, the life of a dysfunctional family, the Tawara family, uh, which is surprisingly the last surviving clan of ninjas. And of course, they abandon their roots because uh, on their last mission six years ago, I'm starting to spoil shit now. The their their eldest son, uh, is, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm not saying this name right, uh, Gaku. Gaku? If I'm saying that right, that was in G A K U. Uh, dies tragically in you know last mission and the family is devastated heartbroken and so they sort of retire from uh, the world of shinobi and they start to you know try to normalize their lives in a way now they have a son uh, a younger son who's about six or seven or eight and they have a second son um, and a, a daughter and the daughter was at the premise of becoming a shit free first no but she doesn't she hadn't uh, you know uh, com completed that training in a way and did an official you know shinobi mission and she starts you know stealing of it she's stealing artifacts nagi if i'm saying her name right uh n-a-g-i nagi uh beautiful young uh, japanese lady by the way um, does this uh, little thing where she steals artifacts off a museum and then she posts it on instagram or whatever and somehow while she's doing that uh, this ninja ex fella uh, follows her and tells her you ain't no ninja ninjas don't do that and it starts that little thing so the story the whole thing is beautiful that eight episodes long everyone's got their little side story uh, you got the little kid uh, ruga regu if i'm saying that name i keep forgetting uh, he He's the outcast of the family, basically. Everybody's been a samurai. Why do I keep saying samurai? Everybody's been a ninja or shinobi at one point, from the grandma to the mother to everybody. He hasn't. He's the only one that's been raised normal. Oblivious, completely oblivious to the shinobi world. The, all he knows is from movies, like everybody else. He doesn't know that his family, the Tawara family, have a long history of being... In the shinobi world. Of course, that that's that just an alias name, not their real name. But this is an incredible. And then you've got Haro, 
if I'm saying his name right, he's the second eldest son, and he's the shinobi who cannot kill, which is incredible. He's the shinobi who cannot kill, and he's doing some shit off the rules. So basically, these people cannot eat meat, and they cannot date outside the circle. So if you want to get a girlfriend or a boyfriend, you talk to the, the powers that be, and they vet some people, and they say, hey, you should date this person or this person or this person. So it's in a bit of an arranged a relationship, an arranged marriage of some sort. So I'm assuming if you're going to do an arranged, it's marriage on the get-go. There is no dating and then dumping her and moving on to the next one. So my dude doesn't want to do that. My dude wants to fall in love. The old, the traditional, the new way of falling in love. Not traditional where you're, you're matched and mixed. Matched and mixed? What am I saying? Where you're matched with, with, with the lover. And then you, you'll get... Anyway. So he meets this girl called Karen. Who's apparently investigating her. Or investigating him in the terms of what goes on. In, in. Apparently, she was saved by ninjas when she was young. And nobody fucking believes her, so she's sort of fixated on this whole ninja world. And she's, she's working for a magazine or a book, yeah, a magazine that does uh, uh, stuff on the superstitious, the crazy, the monsters, the ninjas. The unexplainable things that keep happening to the world. Like how there are so many unexplained cases where people go missing and then they found uh, a bit burning building and then the kids get saved. Uh, everybody dies but one person and they all die at knives and there's no evidence nothing a bunch of suicidal so she's investigating that and she's she sort of meets this Haro fella in a restaurant and somehow while she's investigating him they fall in love now which is a definitely against the rules which means they both gonna get killed because you cannot fall with an outsider who's not part of the Oshinobi world which is brilliant by my account and then it gets more interesting and more interesting. Then you got you got Yoko, the mother, who's so bored of being a housewife and not actually doing all this shinobi stuff. She starts robbing grocery stores. She's stealing spices. She's stealing salt. She's stealing soups. And in the ninjaistic way, my dude, she she's hiding stuff on her wrist, on her ankles, on her stomach. She's doing wild shit. And I, just when I thought it was over, even grandma's doing it. I mean, whole family is crazy. Then you got the father. So chief, I'm saying his name right. And, and he wants nothing to do with the Shinobi world. They, they've got this brewery they're running. And it's been running on government subsidies. Because the subsidies are sort of like a, a front. They do this ninja job or the Shinobi job. And then they get paid through the brewery. They get paid through the brewery. And that keeps the brewery afloat. That's basically how it works. Now, for the past six years, the brewery is struggling because they're not doing any of the ninja stuff. So, they're not getting any government subsidies. <sighs> which means the brewery is going down. So, that's the problem. And this whole show is just so intricate and so secretive. And then you have their son, Gekko or Gakko, who, who sort of died. And then miraculously comes back to life. And I haven't even mentioned the Fumas, fam. Then there's a whole aspect of the Fumas. They are the sworn enemies of the Shinobi world. There's this, there, there's, oh my god, this show is amazing. There's this whole aspect where there's the Bureau of Ninjas. Where there's this department that runs all ninja stuff. So if ninjas get into your house and kill you, they come in and clean off the fingerprints. They're the cleanup crew. They, they give you the equipment, the information, the tech backup. They basically do everything. And you just ninjas, you get in the building, you do the shit, you get out. So they give out the missions. Makes pretty much sense. And there's the fools. The fools don't have that show to ship. They do whatever their current leader tells them. They ain't taking orders from a, a bigger and outside source, which they don't even know. They don't have ridiculous rules like you can't fuck that person, you can't eat meat, you can't do that. If you want to fuck a girl, you fuck a girl. You want to get married, you get married. Because that's how the Fumo don't do that. They're not be controlling your life like that. Which makes it interesting. Now, uh, the, 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 the Tawara's eldest son, I'm spoiling the shit out of this. I'm so sorry. I'm so, 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 so sorry. But it had to be done. Now, the Fumas themselves, they've got this leader guy. And, and, and he's just crazy. He's like, I'm a god and shit, which is crazy. This nigga, there's a scene, I'm sorry. There's a scene where they, this nigga's hand gets chopped. And he thinks he's a god. He tries to stick it back in. I'm like, are you stupid? 
and he is stupid. He's like, how is this possible? Oh my god! <laughs> Nigga thought he was Kanye West. Ah, <laughs> um, you're crazy. Nigga really thought he was Kanye West. Oh my god. Nigga, you ain't no god. You crazy, ninja. Wow. Man, that show was bomb. That show was the bomb. And not the bomb isn't bad. That show was phenomenal. Oh. And come to think of it, there's so many goddamn ninja shows coming out soon. I'm like, wow, this is finna be a great year. This is finna be a great year, man. I gotta say, this 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 story is really touching. So, if you're looking for a little bit of martial arts, this this is the show for you. If you're looking for a little bit of drama, this is the show for you. If you're looking for a bit of suspense, spy, thriller, all wrapped in one gripping tale about a family, this is for you. So, it's an uncon unconventional series, but... It's set to a maze. It's just beautiful. It's just the stuff of dreams. So I will say this is just a breath of fresh air. So I say, yeah. So I'm just, I'm not even sure about this, but this is what I, I heard that Netflix has got a bunch of, uh, you know, manga related or adaptation related things that will come out sometime this year. They've got the Queen of the Villains, uh, shows like Tokyo Swindler, uh, Beyond Goodbye, The, the Parade, um, City Hunter, Tsukasha Hojo, if I'm saying that right, it's an Picus manga, which some of it are said to be released. Okay, this is unimportant information, so I'm just gonna leave it there. I I have to say that I think everyone should watch this. If you don't like Japanese anime, if you don't like Japanese culture, samurais, ninja, bushido, and all that, you dumb, you stupid. But if you like that, you my nigga, you my ninja. <laughs> Okay, what not to expect? There are no Shadow Clone Jutsus for you dumbasses. You will not see no Shadow Clone Johto, but the fighting sequence in this thing. It's a breath of fresh air. I really enjoyed this. Best eight hours I ever spent. It gets a five out of five room. <gasps> oh, come on, Jerry. You've never given five out of five. I just did. And it was worth it. Oh, uh, one more thing. I I hope there's a second part because the way it ended, I really hope because there's the Fuma the twentieth just got elected and he happens to be a former Tawaro. He's part of the Tawaro family, so it's just incredible. Will the family ever kill their brother? Or personally, I think the Fuma's on something. I really do. Now most people don't go along with the villains, but I mean, think about it. You are working for a leader you don't know. And then one more thing that was interesting. Uh, the red phone rang and a woman said, I'm in charge now. Who's the woman? Could it be a Fuma character? And the beauty of this whole uh, ninja uh, bureau of ninjas, they don't know who's in charge. So it's possible the Fumas could be in charge now. Because they killed everybody. Oh my god, they killed everybody with champagne. It was just tragic. And I'm spoiling it again. Oh my god, that shit was amazing. Now that was entertaining. Please let us hang out yet another time. Remember to like and subscribe. Adios, folks. Adios.